ask you um, my question, you look at camera one. He looks right? at, no, he doesn't look at camera oh, one. No. No. Camera two. Camera one. I'm pretty sure we're going to still be wide. Okay. Oh, I don't know why this is camera one, Ricky. That's an, that's an okay. error. This is camera one, Ricky. That's a mess up. What? It's not camera one, Ricky. That's an error. Okay. Good evening, Ramblers, and welcome to the latest edition of Rambler Sports Locker. I'm Ryan Cole. And I'm Steve Manny. Our top story tonight covers the long-awaited official grand opening, unofficial grand opening, of the newly renovated Gentile Arena. Wednesday night, Crosstown rival DePaul made the trip up from Lincoln Park to Rogers Park to take on the men's basketball team. However, the Blue Demons came into the game with plans of spoiling the party and jolted out to a 30-point lead in the first half. The Ramblers were determined not to give up this game and went on to a 17-0 run in the second half in an electric atmosphere that turned out to be one of the best 20 minutes in recent history. Unfortunately, it was a little bit too little too late for the Ramblers, and the team fell 69-58. But Walt Gibbler did drop a career-high 29 points during the game and was one of the best games for the big man down low. Ricky Zumullen sat down with us and will tell us a little bit more about the game. Ricky, what's going on? Thanks, Steve. From the start of Jim Solis, Jim Cornelison's rendition of the National Anthem, Gentile was absolutely buzzing with excitement. Despite the Ramblers' slow start, the students stuck it out, kept the energy up as their team battled their way back. You know, it's good to see uh, such a, an electric atmosphere early on in the season, and we know that the arena-style seating is one of the biggest additions that were made to the arena. Uh, what else is there that draws students to make this place a good place to watch basketball? See, it's not just arena-style seating. These seats are now right on top of the court, where there used to be maybe like 10, 15 feet for walking space and tables right. between the floor and the seats. You're now right there. It's a much more in intimate atmosphere and get people, fans much more involved in the game. Um, and we know that the team is struggling right now at this point in the season. So um, what kind of benefits are there to encourage students to come to the games? Yeah, a lot of the improvements have really focused on students and getting them out and getting them to come to the games. We have the Rockstar Energy Lounge, which is on top of the student section, and students can play bags there. There's free energy drinks, getting people excited before the game, and then the whole student section has a brand new look, and there's going to be lots of exciting promotions from uh, three-point shoot for cash to a free Pete's Pizza. It's a lot of fun and worth coming out. Oh, pizza's a great All right, time. well, thank you, Ricky. Now that the men have their chance to play in the new arena, the ladies will get their opportunity on Friday against LaSalle. Like the men, the women's team looks to bounce back from a close five-point loss at DePaul. To help out for the rest of the season, the team has brought back a familiar face from the sidelines. Two seasons ago, Keisha Collins was a captain and guard on the basketball team and was brought on as an assistant coach this year. Olivia Adamovac was a chance to speak with Collins about her new role. Loyola alum Keisha Collins is in her first year as a women's assistant basketball coach. Collins graduated in 2010 with a marketing degree and three years as a point guard for the Lady Ramblers. So you were coordinator last year. Um, what's it like being assistant for the first time this year? It's great. I'm glad to be back just in any part at Loyola being my alma mater. I love playing here. Uh, attending school here, so it's great to be back and be able to coach some of my old teammates. Yeah, is it encouraging to um, that you're an alum? Oh yeah, absolutely. Playing here, just having pride for Loyola in general, it just makes coming to work every morning great. Collins also talks about the transformation from the old alumni gym to the new Gentile Arena as a reminder of where Loyola has come from and where they are going. Even though she was a transfer student, being from Chicago made it an easy transition to a new school. The only downfall was being redshirted her sophomore year and waiting until the following year to play in the season. On the court, as the director of operations, you're not allowed to step on the court or coach at all. So it was tough being, coming from a player to not being able to be involved with the game at all. So now that I get a hands-on experience with the girls, it's it's a lot of fun. I enjoy doing it every day. And you get to get in the game or get in the 
the practices. Oh yeah, things, as you so. can see, I was practicing yeah. out here today, but uh, it's a lot of fun just, just getting out there, having fun, making them better every day in practice. I just want to, want to let them know that I am proud of them so far and that uh, they really can be good. I think that they're finally starting to see their potential and that we will have a great season. Okay. The women's basketball team started off with a winning record and they plan to keep it going as they host LaSalle this Thursday night in the Genteel Arena. I'm Olivia Adamovich with the Rambler Sports Locker. Back to you guys. Thanks, Olivia. Make sure to check out the Lady Ramblers when, on Saturday when they host Northwestern. A portion of all ticket sales will support the Danny Did Foundation, which helps prevent deaths caused by seizure. Moving away from basketball, Loyola kicked off its men's and women's indoor track season on Saturday at Illinois State in Normal. On the men's side, junior Declan Murray won the mile race, and freshman Kevin Glissetter won the 600-meter race. Murray was one of three Ramblers finishing in the top four of the event and was one of three Loyola runners to finish with a time under four minutes and 30 seconds. Glissetter's time of one minute and 21 seconds was the second fastest in Loyola history. On the women's side, Jane Kinney, a freshman from Ohio, won her inaugural 200 meter race. Overall, a good showing for the Ramblers. While most of the students will be home eating mom's famous meatloaf and watching TV over winter break, the men's volleyball team will head to California they won't have too much time to spend on the beach as preseason second team All-American Mike Bunting and Loyola's most competitive team on the national stage will take on six top West Coast teams to open the season. The team's home opener will be on January 17th, the first day of classes for the spring semester. To preview the upcoming season, Tommy Becker has dropped by our Water Tower studio to have a chat with Maura Guthrie. Thanks guys. I'm here with Tommy Becker, fifth year senior and libero of the men's volleyball team. Thanks for being here, Tommy. Thanks for having me. Um, so, okay, you guys just wrapped up, you know, your preseason workouts. Can you tell me a little bit about how those finished up for you? Um, well, we were all pretty uh, happy about how everything went. Uh, collectively, I think uh, Everyone did pretty well. Uh, there were a lot of early mornings getting up at 5.30 a.m. Yeah, I went to a couple of those practices and I yeah, had to be there fun, at 8 yeah. and I was struggling. <laughs> I don't know how you guys exercise that yeah, early in the morning. It, it's, it's kind of brutal, but um, it's got to happen. We, we only had one gym uh, for all sports to uh, practice in this right. semester because the new uh, Gen 2 was being built. So. Right, so the Hallis, the Hallis struggle yeah, yeah, that was all fun. semester. Yeah, that was very fun. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, how about the move to Gentile? I know you had that inter-squad exhibition game last week. Was that fun? How's the new arena? Yeah, it was awesome. I absolutely love the new Gentile arena. Um, just everything about it. It's, it's, uh, a lot of people were skeptical just because it might be a little bit too big, too spacious for a volleyball gym. Mm -hmm. um, but it's like it's sort of like it's very easy to play in there. Like the lighting's really good. Um, there's a black ceiling, which is awesome for you know. The, you got a white to see the ball. exactly, sure, yeah, a course, lot easier definitely. to see. So, uh, so and better than alumni gym for yeah, you it, then it already. Yeah, it smells better. And, um, <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's good. better for the fans then definitely, too. Yeah, definitely yeah. better for the fans. Yep. Uh, so what's the rest of the game plan coming up to the season starting? You know, less than a month away. What are those final things you have to do to prepare? Um, are you allowed to eat on Christmas? Like <laughs> absolutely, yes, definitely. We're actually encouraged to do that. Um, Right now is sort of like our downtime. We had a pretty rough uh, preseason, you know, like lifting every, four times a week, practicing every morning. Yeah, me too, actually. So yeah, so yeah, <laughs> you look like it. <laughs> um, so yeah, right now it's sort of just kind of relax, uh, go home, enjoy time with your family and good, stuff. Good, in the holiday good, good. Glad, so. glad to hear that. Yeah. So uh, would you say that there's an air of excitement then, you know, for this break and then coming ready to everybody's going to come back ready to, you know, take on the season. Yeah, absolutely, definitely, because we have a solid amount of time off, about a week and a half, mm -hmm. and then everyone comes back. It's been a while since we've seen each other, so everyone gets pretty excited to uh, get back in the gym and do some work. So Now, how about uh, Coach Davis? What, is he, what has he been saying to get you guys ready? Um, uh, da Shane's a pretty, uh, I don't know, he's, he's very passive-aggressive. <laughs> I don't know if any of you guys have met him. He's, he's quiet, very soft. He is quiet. He's quiet. But he's, I had he's the a, pleasure of interviewing yeah, him once. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he's, so. he's a pretty good looking guy. He is a, and, he is a good um, looking guy. <laughs> he's a very good coach. I've, I've had a lot of coaches in my day, and uh, he definitely he knows how to sort of light the fire under you, and he knows a ton about volleyball. And yeah. He's really excited about this season, you can tell. Great. Awesome. So, and you yourself have been around the block a few times yep. with the Ramblers. Yep, yep. You've been here a few yep. years. How does this team, in your eyes, compare to teams of years past? Um, 
Well, you know, I think the coaching staff has done a really good job sort of retooling our team for mm -hmm. this year and um, brought in a couple of solid freshmen who are helping us out. And uh, we got a lot of new faces on the court, so um, it kind of helps with competition and stuff in practice. And uh, yeah. Good. So who should we as fans be keeping an eye on as far as the new faces? are? New concerned? faces. Um, Cody Caldwell, he's a freshman. He's about 6'6", six, six, outside hitter. He's from uh, California, where awesome. I'm from also. Yeah, also so, from yeah. California. A long ways away from home, but yeah, he should be good. He should be. He should contribute a lot to the team this year. Great. Well, we'll be looking forward to the new faces, and then as far as you know, the veterans are concerned, your Mike Buntings and what have you. Who's really going to make the difference on the court? Uh, Bunting's a stud. He's you know he's our guy <laughs> every year. Um, he's actually been hurt for a while, mm -hmm. and uh, but he should be back pretty soon within the next couple weeks. So he's getting his rehab going, and he should be once he's up to 100% health, he should be a huge contributor. Great, so, great, good yeah. to hear. Uh, so last year, the, you know, the record was 21 and eight. Of mm. course, that was really outstanding for you guys. Uh, do you think that with Ohio State losing some key players this year, you can even improve on that and maybe clinch that MEVA tournament championship? Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Are you ready yeah. to we do are it? So <laughs> ready, we are so ready to beat Ohio State, I can't even tell you. It's, I've sat through and played in two pretty tough losses in the uh, conference championships the past two years to make it to the final four. So mm -hmm. me and a couple other guys are so ready, you know, just to ready. To exactly. I know I'm ready throw. to watch you beat them because yeah. I not Definitely. not a big fan. It's about Definitely time. a bigger fan of the Ramblers. So Good. without I hope so. uh, goes Good. without saying, but <laughs> love to see you beat Ohio State for sure. I think everybody probably would. So um, again, thank you so much, Tommy. We're really looking forward to the season and that Ohio State W. Uh, guys, don't miss out on the Rambler men's volleyball. There is an exhibition game coming up January 2nd at the brand spanking new Genteel Arena. With for Tommy Becker, I'm Laura Guthrie. Back to you at the desk.